She's always been a standout, out of four children, the only girl. And everyone in 14-year-old Mackenzie Toman's family agrees. Her personality finds its fullest expression when she's playing soccer. I don't like to dress up and be dolly all the time. I like to get down and get in the mud and have fun. Foul somebody sometime? I've done that a few times. When the person's being like really annoying and getting right up on me and I'm just like, get off, just away. She might say I'm sorry after she knocks you down, but still. <laughs> when she was healthy and out there running around, it was just a marvel to watch her play. That was before November 14th, 2015 when this forward from Davison, Michigan, scored two goals in a 4-3 win and came off the field not feeling quite right. My leg was numb. I was like, Dad, I need to sit for a few minutes. It's numb. I just need to make sure it'll wake up. My mom ended up taking her to the pediatrician for us. She's like, um, the doctor says there's something wrong. He's not sure what's wrong. You need to take her to the emergency room. Mackenzie had a severe Chiari malformation, a congenital defect that now required immediate brain surgery. They're going to have to go in and do a surgery and actually remove a piece of her back of her skull to stop the brain from pushing against the spinal cord. It just, it hits you. Because that's my little girl. It's my only little girl. What do you find yourself thinking about at a time like that? everything. Am I going to have to call a funeral home? Mackenzie would undergo eight hours of surgery at Hurley Medical Center in Flint. Afterwards, a tube would remove excess fluid from her brain. Released from the hospital six days later, Mackenzie recovered at home. How did you stay so strong during all it was really hard because I know I wanted to be there for my team and they had just, um, they were just so supportive over everything that had gone on. You meant a lot to them, didn't you? Yeah. Months later, she returned to school, riding the bus with her brothers. Doctors ruled out contact sports, a blow to her head could have severe consequences. But Mackenzie was desperate to play soccer again. I first looked up like soccer had year. I was like, this would work. And my mom was looking at it and she's like, well, you gotta choose color. I'm like, simply red. And it matches your hair. Yeah, but it's not quite this red. There's some times where I just like think I'm never going to be back on the field again, but. It ended up happening. The first thing she did was go out and pull a foul because she elbowed a girl down. She was even out of the field for a minute and a half and she comes up and just wham! And I'm like, really? Mackenzie's wish is to attend a U.S. women's national team game and to meet some team members. At her team's pizza party, she's not expecting to see a personal message from her favorite player. Hey Mackenzie, it's Alex Morgan here with the U.S. Women's National Team. I hear you're a tough competitor, and because you're so fierce on and off the field, we want to make your wish come true. So I'm inviting you to join me and the rest of the gals as we play in Chicago for one of our final send-off matches before the Olympics. We want to invite you and your family to attend our practice at Soldier Field. We can't wait to meet you, so we'll see you soon. Mackenzie can't believe it. There's even an official team jersey with her name on the back. It's so sweet. It's even got my number. <laughs> Days later, Mackenzie and her family are in Chicago, where a tricked out limo lets them enjoy the city sights and whisks them to Soldier Field. She's all access at the team's practice. And then, She's on the pitch herself and gets a big hug from Alex Morgan. Were you surprised when you got the Yes, message? I was very surprised. You were super surprised? Yeah. Have you ever been to one of our games before? No. Do you want to, I don't know, kick the ball around? And... Sure. Suddenly, it's a dream come true. 
as the teenager who feared she might lose soccer forever is passing it back and forth with a player she's idolized as they get to know each other. Do you like having your dad as coach? Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> Most of the time? Yeah. Yeah. My dad was my coach when I was like 13. As practice draws near, they're joined by members of the coaching staff as Mackenzie shares her lifelong involvement with the game they all love. When I was born, my older brother Matt was in like U6, and a week later he had a game and my mom had me out there when he was playing. So she had the stroller out there with me. It's like Mackenzie is part of the team, and when midfielder Allie Long stops by, no topic is off limits. My mom actually found a recipe to make snow ice cream. No way. Yeah. You mix the snow with some sugar and milk and vanilla, and it makes a nice ice cream. Yeah. need to do this. <laughs> After practice, Alex gives Mackenzie a jersey that gets signed by every player. And then... Mackenzie, you're going to call those for us, all right? Yeah. OK. Team on three. One, two, three. Team! Woo! I'm always the loud mouth. <laughs> the following day, game time. After a VIP tour of Soldier Field and some photos by the Team USA bench, the family has great seats for the match. A goal in the 35th minute from Crystal Dunn gets McKenzie cheering. The game finishes one to nothing for the USA. Afterwards, there's a game ball for McKenzie and a final goodbye. <laughs> so good to meet you yeah. It's the perfect end to a winning wish. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.